Atlanta is booming with talent, and we want to share it with you in today's Artist to Watch. Well, he's played all across Georgia and shared the stage with the Allman Brothers, Tedeschi Trucks Band, and Drew Holcomb and the Neighbors. We're so excited to welcome to our ANC stage local talent Mike Kennebrew. Welcome. Hey, thanks. And this morning I was following him. He follows us. I saw you drove in from Macon. Yep. So before we get to your music, tell us a little bit about you. When did your love of this craft begin? Well, I've loved music all my life. Um, I think uh, I fell in love with songs because I'm a songwriter. I fell in love with songs as a kid. Yeah. Um, I'd start hearing my parents' music and I'd hear songs and think, that's my song, you know, like uh, that, 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 that's how I feel. My dad used to go off to, uh, go off to work and he'd have to go away for a couple of days. And I remember him pulling out of the driveway and this song, do you know that uh, every time you go away, you take yes. a piece of me yes. with you? You remember that cheesy, oh, like, of from course. The, so I would just remember like looking out the window and that song is playing and I thought, that's how I feel. Oh, that's so sweet. <laughs> that song's not about a, guy, a kid missing his dad at all, but I made it, you know, for yes, me. Yes, yes. So, and I just, I've always done that with songs. I wanted to write songs that people could do that for also. Sure. You, know? you were very soulful as a child. Now I've got that song <laughs> in my head. That was a good one. Yeah, I felt and that it, deeply. <laughs> yeah, and it touched you in a way that made you want to create and express yourself. Yeah. And talk about, you, you mentioned your dad and, and growing up. Who were they listening to? Who inspired you? Okay, you ready? I'm ready. Uh, Lionel Richie. Ah, of course. <laughs> um, my dad was a big Beatles fan. He taught okay. me to play the guitar, and so he had a we had a big like notebook of Beatles songs, and I didn't know any of the songs, and I would just find one that had chords that I knew, and I'd take it to him and say, "Okay, well, how does this one go?" Yeah, and he'd teaching. sing it, and, and oh, I'd wow. and I'd play it. So um, the Beatles, Elvis was big, and um, and then my dad was a preacher, so uh, like Amy Grant. Oh yes, and, baby, um, baby. Oh, yeah. I love Amy Grant. Yeah, so so uh, good. So kind of a, a wide a range of music, different light genres. Rock. Yeah, light rock, <laughs> Very all of it. Easy listening. And so, you know, the interesting thing I think about writing songs is, of course, if you're lucky to be able to perform them, that's a yeah. bonus. But it also seems from the songwriters I've met, they get so much joy in sharing their music and having other people perform. Um, oh, yeah. that, that's the way you feel? Anybody that's, um, you know, perform for you or your songs that um, really is a story that resonates with you? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, that's the highest, uh, you know, honors that something you write gets performed and, uh, and used by anyone. Right, you know? yeah. Yeah. And so let's talk about some of the favorite places that you've played, mm -hmm. um, whether it's been recently or kind of starting off in your career. Yeah, well, I, my big high point was I got to headline the Buckhead Theater uh, oh, wow. back in February. And that was awesome. My favorite, my favorite room to play in is Eddie's Attic. I've grown up playing there yeah. in Decatur, you know. And, That's a uh, great spot. Yeah, it's just a great listening room. And, and Buckhead Theater is as well. Now, where would you like to? And let's keep it here in Atlanta or keep it local. Where, where would oh, you aspire like, to? Yeah. Okay, so the next goal, that'd be like the Tabernacle. Yeah. I'd love to play there. Yeah. And um, and then... Uh, what about even Chastain? Oh, I love Chastain. Give me Chastain. Yes, yeah, I, all I day long. dream bigger. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I love that. And where can our viewers find you, follow you? Um, how can sure. we know where you're going to be performing? All the good stuff. Well, I hope you're going to put my name on the screen because it's Kennebrew and no one will ever learn how to spell it otherwise. <laughs> we so, got uh, it. We got it. Yeah. MikeKennebrew.com, I'm there all, all day, and then on Instagram, Mike Kennebrew, um, just Mike Kennebrew. And it's on Spotify and iTunes and anywhere you listen to music, you can, you can hear me. Well, we're going to be lucky enough to listen to your music yeah. coming up right after this break. So we can't wait. Stick around, guys. Thanks a lot. All right. First day. Pre-K with a sign your mama made If I see a tear, we're out of here We're not legally required to stay And I'll hide on the other side of the door until it's clear Then drive home all alone Laughing at my tears but it's only half a day It's not even every day But I miss you when you're not here Yeah 
is a mad rush it's teeth brushed it's have you seen my shoes it's sleepy eyes and sunset rise there's a million things to do mom stayed up late got lunches made gonna be on time this year so brush your hair let's say a prayer before you disappear and as I clean up the remains of the family hurricane, I miss you when you're not here. And now it's dirty clothes and empty bowls piled up in the sink. It's Legos and honey oats crushed underneath my feet. And as I wait to hear the sound of your backpack hit the ground And tell me lows and highs at dinner time Then we all pile on the couch Well the day came, like they say, for you to turn the page and we drove your things in an SUV 200 miles away. Now I miss your jokes, I miss your mess, I miss the early years. I miss the days of hurricanes and laughing at my tears. Oh, but everything's okay. I only call to say that I miss you when you're not here. And thank God Christmas break is only four more weeks away. Cause I miss you.